genetic suppressor collar on Osborne three minutes ago. Get this area sealed off inside of ten seconds or I'll fire the first son of a... You with fury? Hmm, good job here. Could you have made a bigger mess? No, and believe me, I tried. Hmm, you've got some mouth on you. Wow, you'd think you'd be a teeny bit nicer considering I just did your job for you. Welcome back, everyone. This is my brother, Finn Wanos, and I'm Scrooge Rocks, and we're continuing my Ultimate Spider-Man walkthrough. And I did go on the internet, and I was sad to discover that not only did I do a walkthrough for this, but other people did a walkthrough this, which really got me upset. But, um, the only difference is they did it like a year ago, and I'm doing one now. Uh, yeah, so uh, now we have to go to the story mission, which is located at the Daily Bugle, and we're on the other side of the map, which does piss me off. Um... I did recently do another voiceover on this same part, except my parent, my parents were wa was watching like news in the background, so I decided to delete that whole thing and start over, so you can't hear anything in the background except my voice and the game. Thought well, you can hear a little bit of it in part 21, but it was the whole part. I just wanted to do the whole thing over again. <laughs> I'm sorry. So anyway. Web swing, web swing, web swing. I believe from now on there will be all new story mission chapters right after the next. I don't think any more city goals. So I don't think it, there's. I don't, I don't think it's any more city, city goals. Yeah, it's a good thing. I'm playing on 50% voice, which is where you can only hear half my voice. I'm screaming. Yeah, I'm talking like normally, and you can hear my voice completely. And I turned the gameplay voice 200% so you can hear the gameplay. Cutscene! I require a sample. Good golly gosh, ground gravel. We have to chase the beetle. Uh, this is very short, which is good, and it's extremely easy. And I think I do, yeah, I do lose. Wait, no, I know, I know. Yeah, this chasing is extremely easy. And no, and you have to suck so much monkey balls to lose to this chase. I mean, it's not as hard as the goblin chase. The goblin chase is a bitch. And plus, it'd probably be easier to play as Venom chasing Fury Goblin than it probably would be. I wish in this game you could re-challenge your old bosses, but you can't! And after you beat the game, you can't re-challenge your old boss, which does suck. I mean, it'd be so cool to fight Fury Goblin and play as Venom, that'd be awesome. I mean, I, I could easily kick his ass. Maybe it'd be so easy to dodge his attacks. By the way, I get stuck here, but look at this, he stay. I mean, I'm, I get stuck there, but I don't lose. I mean, the good thing about this fight is Green Goblin does not stay, like, he'll keep moving. Beetle will stay until you get close to him. So, if, like, if you're far away from him, he'll just stay there and not move on until you get close to him, which is good. Cutscene, baby. which boss this is, but who cares? You're fighting Beetle once again. And this fight, uh, the first time I played this game, it took me about three or four tries to beat Beetle. Uh, this time I actually don't lose. I beat him on my first try and I was actually really shocked. Because like, yeah, just keep nailing the Y button and Beetle will fly around. But since you're in a, like, since you're in a storage, just dodge. 
Okay, that attack, he activates his first two swords. The best way to stop that attack is when he gets close to you, jump in the air and press Y, and then, you'll, and then your hands will turn into vines, and then you'll hit him down. For what I'm doing right now, it's not that. I'll jump in the air and then I'm use the spinal attack. That, that, that attack right there. That attack usually stops him. I love his health bar. Right? I mean, when I, when I first saw him, I was shocked, and the, the next thing I noticed is health bar is down to like a quarter. I'm like, wow, that was that was pretty fast. Yeah, so just keep doing this, and pretty soon he'll do some other weird freaking attack and all the you in an area. Just keep watching. Just just keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget, this is the game view. Yeah, so as you just noticed, he just put up a force field, and now he'll stand on those little laser things and shoot that, like, other laser. Don't let it hit you. It does so much damage. And yeah, that did a lot of damage. Don't let it hit you. Basically, when he just comes down, like, when he hit, like, just chase him, and then he went into circle, just quickly find him, just quickly to use the Y attack before he has a chance to use that laser beam. And then just keep doing that. And... And I'll start doing that shit, that, 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 oh yeah, don't let it, yeah, yeah, you have to stay on the pits. If you fall in the pits, it's an automatic death. Yeah, just kill him. Yep, don't let him slice you like he just did to me. Just do the same thing. Stop him before he has a chance to slice you. And if you have a chance to um, make him on the, okay, yeah, dodge that attack, right there. You don't want to get hit by that, even though it does, like, no damage. Just don't get hit by it. And don't forget, when you play as Venom, every few seconds you lose health. But just do what I'm doing, just keep it, stop it in his tracks. Get away from that chicken and blast the attack. Don't fall in the pits or else it's an automatic one to kill, meaning you die. And he's about dead right now. And once he does that, once he's in that like, little bit of process, you can't hurt him. But yeah, he's dead. First time Spider-Man fought Beetle, he got away. Second time Venom fought him. Is Beetle dead? Yes, Beetle is Beetle is dead. I mean, it's just weird. I just out of nowhere. It says, "Can I have a sample?" Yep, look at that. New story mission available. Wow, that was really quick. Where do we have to go? Where do we have to go? Oh my God! All the way back to Peter Parker's house. Doesn't that suck? Yes. I mean, in real life, this would suck. Like if you're a Spider-Man, it wouldn't suck that much to so get there really fast. But if you if you weren't Spider-Man, which many of you people out there aren't, uh, you could. It would probably take a couple of hours, I guess, to get to your workplace. That would suck so much balls. Anyway, yeah, on the Baxter Building, there's a little token there where you can uh, re-race Johnny Storm, and you can re-race him in three different a areas. And trust me, it's hard, really hard. You will lose them on the first time. You will. Um, but my advice is, you don't really need them unless you want to rock stuff. You don't need them unless you just have costumes. Yes, I know you're later in there, so stop complaining. God, my head is actually hurting. I think, yeah, the top of my head is, oh, well, like the top of my mouth is hurting. Or is sore from talking too much. It's like sore. Not on the top of my mouth, but like, in, like in, in between the top of my mouth and under my nose, and in like the lip area, like far inside my head, it's aching a little bit. So I'm talking too much, I guess. Yay, cutscene! And I won't talk till the next part because the cutscene takes the whole part, I believe so, and it takes a little bit of the next part. Cutscene, and I do get this token! Remember what I said last time? Yes, I get the token! Bye! Peter Parker? What? Ah, uh, what happened? Oh, my head. Ow! Ah! Uh, who are you? There is an 